Welcome to C video tutorial. In our last class, I have explained you the local variables in a C with an example. In this class, I am going to deal with the topic global variables in C. What is the difference between the global and the local variables? In a global, these variables is defined outside the main function so that this variable is visible to main function and all the other sub function. But in case of local variables, they are accessed only within the function where you have declared. They cannot be accessed outside the function. There is a main difference between the local and the global variable in C. The scope of the global variable will be throughout the program. They can be accessed from anywhere in the program. Not only in that function, not only in this function. They can be accessed anywhere in the program. These variables have to be declared before the functions. That is how we declare the global variable. Let me give an example. That is a, after writing the hash include. There is a header file. We are going to declare the global variable. That is a int. Say m comma n. The same way give the another variable that is a comma b. And main function. And there will be another function I am going to take. It is a test. See, here, inside the main, we can access these four variables. M, N, A and B. Because they are globally declared. And they are the global variable. So, they can be accessed inside the main function. As well as they can in access inside the test function. They can be accessed anywhere in the program. That is the main aim of the global variable. I will give you the program example in order to make you more clear. So that you will come to know what, what does this global variable performs. So, first I will declare the m equal to some value say 50 comma n equal to 30 we can write it in the same statement also in order to decrease the length of the program but i will write in a another statement because to make you more clear or else you will feel confused what is it in the same line they have written so i will write it here only a and B. I will take first A and B equal to say something 80. Okay. What are they? We can first or else we will declare the function first. Say it is a test. Closing with the semicolon. The function part I will explain detail when I come to the function video. Okay. And the main. And I want to print M, N as well as A and B. So, I'll give the values are. Okay. First is m. So, m equal to percentage d says n equal to percentage d say comma and we all are assembly and a equal to percentage d space b equal to percentage d next comma m comma n comma a comma b we will call the another function called as test so 
inside the test function same thing you are going to write sorry I forgot to give the double quote control C get ch in order to see the output and closing with the flower braces and let me give another print statement mm, the variables are accessed from the main function the same way from the test function so in a here m n a b these are the global variables they are accessed within the main function as well as they can access within the test function let me execute this No errors are found. Um, so, here the variables are accessed from the main function. The values are m equal to 50, n equal to 30, as well as a equal to 10, and b equal to 80. And the next, the variables are accessed from the test function. The value will be same. So, Okay, so these are the global variables. In our previous example, there is a local variable. When we try to access this a and b in a main function, they are going to give an error say that they are undeclared. But in case of global variables, they, since they are accessed anywhere in the program, they are not showing that error. There is a main difference between the local and the global variables. Hope you understand this program very well as well as uh, hope you understand what do you mean by the global variable in a Clio. I will explain you the next variable that is the environment variable in the next video. Until then, bye. Have a nice time. Thank you.